Hi, students. Again, today we started uh, the second lecture about the growth and development in the prenatal period. Okay. Uh, growth and development in the prenatal period. Um, it means that intrauterine life period. Uh, that means inside the uh, mummy. Okay. Uh, before birth. We'll divide it into uh, three parts. First of all, period of the ovium into zero day to 14 day. The period of the embryo from uh, 14 day to 56 day. The period of the vitals into uh, the 56 to 280 day. Okay. Ovium period, during this period, the single cell zygote begins to multiply rapidly and form several dozen cells. This mass of cell differentiated into an inner and outer layer of cells separated by a hollow cavity. Embryonic period begins during the middle of the second week and concludes at the end of the eighth week, at which time the physical appearance of the embryo is clearly human. It is during this time that all the major organs of the body begin to form. It is a time of specialization where cells divided and differentiated to form specific organs, example the heart and the lung. Period of the fetus. A period a growth and development of the craniofacial system will start in the fourth weeks. In this period, the face of the embryo 1.5 millimeter in thin and with uh, and with the, uh, with the paper width hairs uh, hair jaws eye are uh, ours and mouth rapidly will be developed between the primitive brain and the uh, now we talk about the uh, vitus period between the primitive brain and the taps on uh, cardiac and indent ectodermal consist stomodium stomodium is the uh, uh, start of formation the mouth the, the primeval began dom Stomodium uh, border from above the uh, frontal nasal process and below by first uh, bronchial arc that con uh, will be formed the mandibular arc. These two processes uh, derived mandibular. You see here, this is mandibular arc. Okay, uh, uh, it is formed from the frontal process and from the uh, first bronchial arc. Stomodium uh, from both sides is bordered by two maxillary processes originating from the first bronchial arc. Okay, uh, you see here this is a frontal brain, this is a frontal uh, nasofrontal process, and this is of thalamic uh, or uh, blood, duct, and this is maxillary, this is maxillary processes, and this is mandibular processes. Two, okay, uh, by the time they will be fused. Development of the tongue. The tongue appears in three weeks as the two lateral lingual swelling and one medial swelling. The tubercolum in part all originated from the first pharyngeal arch and uh, a second medial swelling, the copula or hypobronchial eminis, is formed by the mesoderm of the two third and part uh, of the fourth arch okay um, this is a formation you can see this is a lingual swelling this one and two this is tubercolum in part they will be lead to form of the tongue development of the tongue also the third median swelling formed by the posterior part of the fourth arch marks development of the epiglots behind this is swelling uh, is the laryngeal orifice which is flanked by the uh, arytoid swelling. This is just um, information for you, you to understand it, okay? Uh, not to, uh, uh, just information, not for exam, this two slide, okay? I told you which is important. Development of the tongue as the lateral lingual swelling increase in size, the overgrow. The tubercle in bar and merge forming the anterior two thirds of the tongue. Since mucosa of the body of the tongue originated from the first arch, sensory intervention is by the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. This is the body of the tongue. 
okay? You can see here, this is epiglots, lar uh, laryngeal orifices, uh, arthroid swelling, uh, lingual swelling. You, you, I think you study this in uh, anatomy, okay? Uh, also, the development of the noise on both sides, Look here in uh, first, this is stomodium. Okay, here they will be started to heart promethean, heart formation. Okay, this is first and second bronchial arches. Okay, frontal nasal in this color. Okay, liner there is, and here is this maxillary prominence, and this is mandibular. Okay, you look from here, this is mandible, maxilla, and frontal nasal prominence. You see, by the time, how will we change it, okay? They will be maxilla more prominence, and here also. Uh, on both sides of frontal nasal prominence, nasal olf um, olfactory placot uh, originated under inductive influence of the forebrain, okay? This is, you can see here, this is eye, it's in the lateral. Okay, and here this is um, starting of the formation of the nasal, or it's called of the nasal pit. You see here, this is I in the lateral, when this is nasal. This two, when you firstly look at, you say this is I. No, this is nasal. Okay, it's separated, and uh, by the time they will be uh, one part, but this is I one here and another here okay and this is naso uh, nasocranial groove they will be to uh, form of nasocranial duct okay and this is maxilla and this is mandible during fifth week the innovation uh, to form nasal pits yani the this is in the fifth week okay uh, development of the face in human embryo, frontal view, the fourth and half week old embryo. You see, this is form of, this is nasal, maxilla and mandibular, and eyes to be here. This is frontal nasal processes. Nasal placodes are visible on either side of the frontal nasal prominence. Okay, this is nasal. They will start by the time to be fused to be one part. Okay. Development of the noise. Uh, a ridge of the tissue around each nasal pit forms a nasal prominence, medial and lateral. Lateral nasal and uh, maxillary prominence are separated by nasolacrimal groove. We say this is, this is medial part of the nasal and this is lateral part. And this is nasolacrimal groove that will be uh, separated nasal from the maxilla. This groove will be formed in the uh, future, the duct. Okay. And this is medial and medial will be fused together to be one part. Okay. By the time uh, here you see this 55 uh, day, they will be started to be near to each other to uh, fuse. Okay. Lateral nasal and maxillary. Uh, sorry, uh, lateral nasal and maxillary prominence are separated by nasal lacrimal groove after development of the coral uh, cord forming nasal lacrimal duct. From the floor of the groove, the maxilla and lateral nasal prominence merge. Uh, nasal pits are still two separated plates, but they rotated to face vent uh, ventrally as a head within. Okay. Sorry, I have a problem.